Is this technically a movie review? You could argue, but hey, I was in an IMAX theater with 400 people screaming and singing the entire three hour runtime. So you know what? I had a blast. Here's Johnny. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Expecto Patronum! Taylor Swift The Eras Tour stars Taylor Swift and is about experience the breathtaking Eras Tour concert performed by the one and only Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, an icon, the biggest celebrity on the entire planet right now, just finished the Eras Tour in real life and so what does she do for everyone that just couldn't spend thousands of dollars to go see her live? They said, hey, we're gonna make a three hour movie. You come spend your money on movie ticket prices, a little inflated too. Come seeing an IMAX, which I did, and come see the experience of the Eras Tour. So let's go ahead and say, I'm not like the biggest Taylor Swift fan. I like a lot of her music. I think she is very talented. And it's really crazy to see where she came from because like, I grew up with her technically. I mean, honestly, I remember when she was like starting off very young, a lot of country, then it got more into pop and then more iconic stuff. And then recently, obviously, she's doing the Ares tour going through her entire catalog in a three hour show, which she just completely kills the entire time. This movie is a concert. I believe it was in SoFi Stadium, and this entire concert is, it's a concert. So really, I'm reviewing a concert. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, you're watching a video of a movie you're gonna go see. Or you probably saw her in real life, and you're still gonna go see her again in movie theaters. But I have a very, very good friend. She loves Taylor Swift, and she did not get a chance to go see her live. So the one friend, I know you're probably watching, you know who you are, uh, go see these in theaters because you're probably gonna fall in love with her even more. My favorite Taylor Swift songs are probably Enchanted, yes, the Taylor's version. And I love the classic love story. And there's obviously like 22, and there's just, there's a ton of songs seriously but the one song that wasn't in this movie that I'm kind of disappointed was Wildest Dreams. I would have loved to hear that in IMAX especially with this crowd. My crowd guys I, I could do this review on the entire crowd alone. Um, 400 seats holding this auditorium. I know this because I used to work at this theater and it's an IMAX screen so everyone in this theater was just singing and it was just full of girls. A lot of guys there too but I went by myself and it was packed and I just had to, had to join along. I had to. I didn't want to be that one guy just sitting there because like I'm not really watching this movie for any specific reason. I will say this. I have to like talk about it. The directing, the cinematography, and the crew on this movie did a fantastic job. Also, whoever completely designed how this concert goes visually is actually really awesome. Like Taylor Swift, she's iconic, she's singing. She sings great, it's obviously Taylor Swift, she's perfect. But in this movie, how the cinematography works, how the actual stage works, and her music and the camera movement, it's actually, for three hours, it flies by. Also a concert, so there is that. I mean, for my my for paying this much to see it in IMAX, I'm fine with seeing it. Going to a concert can be a hassle. If it was like Post Malone, I've seen him twice now. I would easily pay more to see him again. I love him. So for people who love Taylor Swift, this is your dream. Seriously, I mean, you. I know many people that saw her live. So seeing in theaters and surround sound with a really nice cinematography, very good direction and everything, and Taylor Swift, her performance and her entire performance, her entire just concert of singing. I mean, you got to give her credit, man. She she changed like costumes. She kept going. She sang through rain and pouring down rain. And the messages she says to her fans, you can just tell she really is like a person that cares more about the person and the people that pay to come see her. She wants to give you a show. In movie theater format, it's an experience. It's the Ayers tour and it's definitely something. I'm not going to grade this movie. I mean, it's not really a movie, but hey, I saw it in a movie theater with a packed house. I know a lot of people are going to go see it this weekend. It's going to make a lot of money. But my real question is, after this review is over, what is your favorite Taylor Swift song? Again, 
Love Story, Enchanted, Wildest Dreams, I mean, 22, I mean, there's so many, uh, there's so, there's so many, I mean, you have 10 years, you have 10 albums, like, how many albums is there? There's tons, and she's also doing new music in the future, so, really, really good job to the crew, especially, like, I know Taylor Swift's amazing, but the crew, the cinematographer, all the people who worked on the stage, seriously, like, this is some amazing stuff, this would've been, I think this should've been a thing, I should've gone seen her in real life, like, this would've been really cool, I had a chance, I actually had a chance to do that, but, thousands of dollars was a no-no, anyway, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed this review, uh, let me know what you think of the concert movie, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song, are you gonna go see this in theaters, did you see her live, let's all talk about it, look at the Swifties, let's talk about it, also talk about that Travis Kelsey, you know, I'm a huge football fan and I want to hear that juicy stuff. I want to hear that. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.